The VCS annotate feature in combination with projectional editor can be very powerful. Okay, let me quickly show you a practical example how this can be used. Now I'm looking at a robot script here and I'm wondering why this if statement um, you know, appeared in the code and what is the purpose and how it evolved over time. So, well the first obvious step I show the annotations. So now I see that this if statement has quite some history in it because there's at least three different colors used to um, paint it in the editor. I see this revision number 36, 37 and 38 uh, with these respective colors that all relate to the if statement. The oldest one is the revision 36. So I can have a look at that one. So I right click and show div. So this is the revision when the if statement was introduced and this is the version that was actually inserted back then. If wall ahead do turn left, turn left and step. Which is quite different from what we currently have in here. So well the next revision was version 37. So let's look at that one. Uh, okay, so in that revision the if statement remained. What we got, however, is wrapping the original wall ahead condition with end not mark. So this stuff is now new in it. Okay, well the last revision that we're talking about here is revision 38. So we can have a look at that one as well. And uh, okay, I'll scroll up here. So this is our if statement, and what has changed is the body. Uh, the turn left and turn left thing is gone, and the color indicates it's been moved somewhere else. And a new thing, turn round, a call to a routine was introduced. Now we can follow the movement of these two commands, and we see they were moved down here into a new routine called turn round, the body of which now contains these turn left statements. So now you see how the ability to track movement can be very useful because now we see that this code exactly as it was before was moved in here and wasn't changed along the way. We know where it went. While without this ability we would just see that you know these two nodes were changed into that thing and now this code was introduced here which is much less useful. You have no control that the semantics of the code remain the same. So I'll turn track and move nodes back. Well another useful thing here is the ability to uh, turn off synchronized scrolling so now I can really compare the the code side by side to better see that you know a, you know the versions next to one another. Okay, so that was a short example. I hope you enjoy that and you find this feature useful. Goodbye.